Many of us spent hours daydreaming when we were young about our ideal houses. Maybe you dreamt of a huge slide spiraling from one end of the house to the other. Perhaps you wanted an entirely jungle-themed room complete with vines, plants, and animals. Most of us grew up accepting that we'd just move into a standard black and white property filled with only a little bit of imagination. But not everyone gave up with their childhood interior design dreams. All of the people on this list decided to design the inside of their properties exactly how they wanted, ignoring societal norms and preferring their own imagination. Make sure to stick around until the end to hear about the house that installed an entire feline transport system for the cats to run around inside. Before we amaze you with some of these unique ideas, make sure to like this video, subscribe to The Riches, and join our notification squad. Now let's get into craziest interior designs people actually wanted for their homes. A goldfish might seem like the ideal pet if you're lacking space but still want an animal friend to keep you company. But not fish fan Jack Heathcote, who decided to turn his entire basement into Britain's biggest home aquarium. When he says his house is a bit of a dive, he's not joking. But he's not talking about the state of it, rather the interior design he picked when renovating his property. Jack, who lives in Nottingham in the north of the country, decided to create a private underwater escape in his five-bedroom home filled with exotic species that are usually only seen in corners of the world like the Amazon and the Congo. There's even a viewing platform for when Jack wants to devote some time to admiring his collection of fish. The entire tank, if it can be called that, measured 12 square feet, giving plenty of room inside. Unfortunately, Jack had to take the tank out eventually, after he realized the 4,000-gallon aquarium was costing him $9,000 a year to run. Our next odd interior design also takes inspiration from the sea, but more from the sand rather than the water itself. This giant seashell house in Mexico City is incredible to look at from the outside and the inside. Inspired by world-reclaimed architects like Gaudi and Frank Lloyd Wright, the owners, a young family with two children, clearly weren't satisfied with the typical two-up, two-down style of living. The home was built back in 2006, and one of its most prominent features is a giant wall of colored mosaics. Despite the colorful facade, it was actually built to blend in with nature, which might be hard to believe. Inside, the house is even more unusual. You'll find huge slanting white walls, circular furniture, and any number of plants. There are random pillars poking out of the walls, and somehow, all of the mod cons like the television have been implemented into the walls themselves. The seashell house might have done its best to blend in with its surroundings, but it didn't do quite as good a job as this entirely wooden house. Sure, it's sustainable and good for the environment, but variety is the spice of life, which makes us think this property is maybe a little bland. While the windows are made of glass, the tiles in the bathroom are ceramic and the floor is polished concrete. Everything else you'll find in this property is a different shade of wood. Sure, it comes in different grains, essences, and colors throughout the house, and it's definitely one of a kind. The kitchen counter has been built like a giant Lego game with different sized blocks that all fit exactly into each other. All of the walls are formed with wooden panels and most of the home accessories are an equally interesting shade of brown. Want to see another house built almost entirely of wood but for a whole other purpose? Let's take a look inside the world's first skateboarding house. It might be the dream for many boarders around the world, but for one former world champion and pro skater, it became a reality. If you take a look inside the property, you'll see a typical layout of a table and chairs, cooking appliances, and more. But if you take a closer look, you'll suddenly spot some very slanted walls that look like they could be perfect for skating on. This house is divided into three spaces, one for cooking, eating, and general day-to-day -day activities. The second includes the bedroom and bathroom, but it's the third space, the main features of the skate park, that really catch the most attention. The ground becomes the wall and then becomes the ceiling in a continuous surface forming a tube of a 10-foot radius. It's perfect for practicing tricks, but don't think you're restricted to one-third of the house for picking up the speed. All of the furniture is skatable too, like the kitchen island or the bed itself. 
If you spent a minute thinking that the wooden house might be a bit of a fire hazard, you weren't alone. And the next strange interior design we're looking at might be slightly more fireproof because it's made out of stone instead of wood. Dick Clark was the owner of a single-story structure reminiscent of the Flintstones cartoon in Malibu. Spread across 22 acres of land, there's plenty of space to make use of, but you'd need a good bout of imagination in order to move into this place after looking at the interiors. All of the walls are odd-shaped, slanting stone. There appears to be little to no direction when it comes to putting together this property. You'll find sprawling beanbags on the bright white floors and creaky old wicker chairs placed around a slab of marble that acts as a table. Maybe, if you're a fan of nature, that last interior design really made you wish you could create a similar house. One house in Japan decided to do just that and created an unusual three-story property that came with a twist. It had a huge slide scaling one side of the house. This crazy place is wrapped with staircases and a corridor on one side and the slide on the other side, which together form a circular route around the central area of the house. So when you're in a rush, you won't have to tackle all of those pesky stairs to leave quickly. Designed by Japanese studio Level Architects, this 1,762-square-foot property is located in Tokyo. We imagine the kids living in this property absolutely love showing off their house slide. We're kinda almost jealous. What else would you implement into your property other than a slide given the opportunity? Let's take a look inside this house in Plymouth, England, where every creepy movie could have been made. That's right, it's a house with two different rooms hidden behind bookcases. But unless you knew they were there, you probably wouldn't consider the secrets from the past at this house. The rest of the interior design features are straight out of a typical family home and come with paneled walls, wooden flooring, and glazed windows. There are all of the mod cons you could need, and it actually looks rather comfy, so we can only imagine what's behind those hidden secret doors. But this house isn't the only to feature hidden rooms. In fact, it's pretty common for celebrities to request the same thing when moving into new properties. There's even a company based in Arizona whose entire job is to install high-tech, secure secret rooms. But what if you wanted to take your house to the next level but also wanted to keep it pretty normal-looking during the day? You'd have to think pretty carefully about a design that could be easily covered, hidden, or changed at short notice. And now's where we show you some amazing paintwork designs by European artist Bogie Fabian. This incredibly talented artist is known for her glowing murals, which look just like standard white walls during the day but come alive when the lights are turned off. If you're more of a maximalist rather than a minimalist, these designs might just be the ones for you. And it's not just the walls that she can attack with her creative genius. These murals can also cover the floors and turn your room into a jungle, outer space, or just about anywhere else you can imagine. Could anything be better than the walls lighting up as you're getting into bed? What about getting into bed while admiring an entirely themed room surrounding you? One lucky six-year-old boy in Minnesota requested exactly that when his parents decided to renovate his room. The child decided he wanted a pirate ship-themed bedroom and designer Steve Cole went all out with the planning. The main feature is a floating pirate ship stuck to the wall and guaranteeing a day's adventures like no other. But that wasn't the end of this pirate-themed takeover. Also in the room is a rope bridge that connects the pirate ship to the top of a jail cell and another rope for drop-in access to the wardrobe. But if you don't fancy walking the plank to exit the boat, there's also a secret hidden slide that acts as the perfect gateway if you find yourself in a spot of trouble. It's not only kids who can appreciate the effort that parents go to when designing their bedrooms. One home in San Francisco decided to go above and beyond to install a feline transport system so their pet cats could wander around the house with ease. It might look like a poorly concealed ventilation system, but in actual fact, this carefully constructed series of pipes was built in order to let humans and animals live together without getting in each other's way. Designers from a company called Because We Can, based in California, originally came up with a clever contraption for their own cat in the office in order to keep the cat away from customers. It was also a clever way to show exactly how innovative the company could be. And it paid off, because shortly after the commissioned transport system was installed in San Francisco too. 
And judging from the reactions, the cat seemed pretty happy to have its own walkway around the house. Maybe next we'll start seeing dog-sized transport systems or maybe even water-filled versions for aquatic pets. That's all for craziest interior designs people actually wanted for their homes. Would you be tempted to install any of these crazy contraptions in your home? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.